In this video, we will explain how to use the image map feature in Bricket ThemePress. Image maps are a great way to visualize where your employees or offices are located around the world. But because this macro can be used with any image, its applications are limitless. To create an image map in ThemePress, you need two macros, the image map and the image map area. It might be helpful to think about your image map as one unit consisting of two layers. The bottom layer is the image map macro. It will serve as the foundation of our visual. On top are the image area map macros. They specify what regions are highlighted when a user hovers over them. In this example, we have a background image of the world stored in an image map macro with separate images for each region. These regional images are essentially the same as the base image, but with a different color to simulate a hover effect. To get started, we added the image map macro and pointed it to the page where the image is located. If you uploaded the image to the current page, you can leave this field blank. Now you can change the alignment, width, and height of the image or leave it as is. Once the image map macro is configured, you'll want to place one image map area macro for each link you want to create inside your image map. If you have a hover state image for each link, you will want to reference the image name here in the macro parameter. Most importantly though, this is where you define the hotspot coordinates for the linkable area. To do this, choose the shape of the hotspot you want to create. Rect defines a rectangular region. Circle defines a circular region. Poly defines a polygonal region. And default defines the entire region. In this example, I'm using a rectangular region with the hotspot coordinates 23, 10, 277, and 158. Coordinates are relative to the edge of the base layer's image. So the left area of my region is 23 pixels from the left margin of the image. The top area is 10 pixels from the top margin of the image. The right area of my region is 277 pixels from the left margin, and the bottom area is 158 pixels from the top margin of the image. If you need a little extra help on identifying the coordinates of your image, there are many resources online, as this is a standard HTML feature. Now that I define my hover state image, the shape of the hotspot, as well as its location atop the base image, all I need to do is point the image to a website or a confluence page. Once I've done this for each region, my image map is ready to be published. We hope this quick tutorial helps you use the image map feature so your users can browse confluence in new and creative ways.